Well, Static Students, I just thought I'd record a quick, succinct video of a tour of our homepage for those of you who either missed the first day of class or that we got cut short just in our uh, discussions this morning. And so our general homepage, uh, here's what it looks like. We have a uh, menu bar over here on the left. We have some quick links here in the middle. Know that you can always turn off the menu bar links if you want by clicking on this um, three layer hamburger over here on the left hand side. Um, I'll go ahead and do that just to give us a little more real estate. Um, this is our class time Zoom link. Currently we're just using one link for um, help sessions on Mondays and Fridays, and then also class on Wednesdays, active learning class on Wednesdays. I'll talk more about those down here. If that changes, I'll get rid of this link and just have specific links right in here if we have separate links. Um, next up, we're using Gradescope to grade any handwritten work. So fundamentally your homework and then also portions of your quizzes and also your exams will be handwritten. You'll submit those to Gradescope. Uh, it's a really slick tool on our end to organize your work. Um, we're able to use rubrics and give you quick feedback. I've actually been able to um, uh, decrease turnaround time by like half because of using Gradescope. So uh, it's free uh, for you to use. And But you will need to create a separate account and you should have received an email asking you to basically log into Gradescope and create a password. Uh, your Gradescope account is associated with your default CSU email address. Let me know if you're having issues getting into Gradescope. I can let you know what your email address is and a link to reset your password. There's also an anonymous suggestion box that I have set up. Click this link, you get to that anonymous box. I can't tell who those suggestions come from. Um, if you have suggestions, please make them constructive. Uh, let me know if there's things that I can do to help. And also if you can think of ways that I can uh, help you out uh, is awesome. I also welcome emails, uh, messages through um, Remind, which is a backup system that we're using, uh, which is a text-based. I'll talk more about that in just a second. Um, but yeah, let me know what I can help with. Um, please provide me feedback so that I can do that. We have a free and open. The open part of it means that actually anyone teaching static could take this book and they could remix it. They could arrange their own chapters, anything like that. Uh, to use a student, the keyword is free. Um, this book is called Engineering Statics. Um, in Engineering Statics, um, please provide us feedback as much as possible. Um, we're using a tool called Hypothesis. In Hypothesis, once you have it, uh, an account created, now there should be showing up in your sidebar because we have it installed in our textbook, this menu bar. If it doesn't show up, there's also Chrome add-ins and things. Let me know if it doesn't show up and we'll get that showing up. But essentially you can um, highlight text in this um, anywhere. And this is actually for any website and you can do this for groups or whatever else, but you get this little drop down here to annotate or highlight. We're looking for annotation. Um, let us know if something is unclear, if there's an error, if there's a broken link, whatever else. Um, once you click on that, you can type in a quick message here, post that to public. If you don't post it to public, um, no one else can see it. You can either post, I'm, I'm either in public or only me. And so make sure you post that to public so we can see your feedback. So that is the textbook. Um, all of the videos that will be basically our Monday and Friday uh, mini lecture videos are going to end up on a playlist in statics. Now they'll also show up on content pages and I'll talk more about those content pages as we go over to the modules, but you can always visit this playlist and I'll try to get, make sure that all those videos end up there. I have not recorded all the videos yet. Okay. So it's not a totally prepackaged class. Uh, I am doing that as we go through the semester. In the textbook and also as part of some different activities, I really like these um, GeoGebra interactives. These are essentially um, HTML5 interactives that you can use to interact with content. Here in the middle of the page, we have some links to basically class sessions uh, on Monday and Friday. These are not required. It's essentially there'll be an open help session during the class hours. And so while you're watching the YouTube videos or working through your content, if you have questions, feel free to log into Zoom and ask your questions there. We'll have some questions at other times, or excuse me, we'll have some help sessions at other times as well. I'm working with my TAs to get those scheduled. Uh, on Wednesdays, we're going to have an interactive live class. Okay, You can log in either at 11 or at noon. And currently, those are all, once again, under one Zoom link. If I need to change this into multiple Zoom links, I'll just basically create multiple buttons here on this homepage. Um, some, I'll, uh, 
got to come across a good number of quotes in the middle here. So um, I'll put a maybe inspirational or kind of a learning based quote there in the middle. I'm really big into the science of learning. Uh, here on the bottom of the page are direct links to modules. Okay, so in order to get your modules, you can either click on one of these links or you can click on modules over here in the left hand side. So I'll show you how these work. I can click on course information. Um, and I land directly on the course information module on the module page. You can take a look at the start here page if you haven't looked at that already. Uh, I am assuming you have some prerequisite knowledge because you came in um, having passed calculus and also having passed physics one, um, as well as a series of other um, pages here. If you'd like to join the class Remind group, now Remind will be used kind of as a supplement or backup to Canvas announcements. Um, feel free to um, join that there. I don't ever see your phone number, it's just basically it's an anonymous way we can text back and forth. Um, I do look forward to reading your wrap introductions. I see that over half of you have entered those. Uh, please register for a Zoom account. That way your name and email address associated with that Zoom account will be consistent so that I can get you associated with the same breakout groups um, in our class sessions. And there is a classroom guide for students that I found that is quite useful. Um, every single day will have its own subheading in a weekly module. Okay, so um, your to-do list is fundamentally one of these weekly modules. And so today in class, we talked about this rooftop patio activity. I listed some of my steps to analyze that rooftop patio activity. You can compare those to yours that you put onto the Google Jamboard. Here is a link to our Zoom recording from the 11 a.m. session, also a link to our Jamboard that we use for 11 a.m. Same things for noon. On Wednesday, we have a couple of different pieces of content to cover, and I'll take you one of those content pages here shortly, as well as an assignment. There is a syllabus review set up as a Canvas quiz. This is a learning exercise. Learning exercises are about 10% of your overall grade. You can look at the syllabus for all the other grade breakdowns. But on any of these content pages, um, they're broken out. The top here are key questions. These are the best conceptual questions that I could come up with um, referencing the content you're going to learn in this section. If you can answer these questions, it doesn't mean you're going to ace the class, but it means that you're understanding the concepts really quite well and that you're able to then probably jump in and solve problems um, equally as well. Here are links to that engineering statics uh, textbook. So those will take you directly to the sections I would like you to read for that day. Here's some alternative links. If you don't like using the engineering statics, you can use these are some links to a friend of mine at Penn State and another one to a colleague of mine at Oklahoma University. The lectures will show up as large embedded links right underneath this lectures and examples. I don't have those done yet um, for this content page, but those will show up right here. Like I said, alternatively, you can access them through the YouTube playlist. And then supplemental links. The things down here at the bottom are not required, but if you want, are looking for some more references or more work, you can take a look down there. So those are the supplemental pieces. The Canvas gradebook will be your primary gradebook for this class. While we'll, we'll be bringing information from Gradescope back into this Canvas gradebook, whatever grade you show in the Canvas gradebook is your current grade in the class. Um, exams and quizzes may be curved, but the overall class will not be curved. And so pay attention to what your grade is. I use a standard 90, 80, 70, 60 grading scheme with a little bit of whole number rounding to give you the benefit of the doubt. You can look at that in the syllabus, but that is that. Um, you also have available here um, the people tab, the people tab will show you um, all the people that are in this class and you should be able to contact them through um, this tool by sending them a message. Um, you'll also select groups that you'll be involved with through this page, but I'll send instructions for that later. Um, otherwise, you can look at the laundry list of assignments if you want to. I always leave that available. But if you're, if I ever forget to put something in modules, first, remind me. Second, you can access these assignments either through your homepage to-do list, which shows up over here on the right-hand side. You can access those through the assignments list, which is going to be right here, or through the course calendar. Okay, So any of those three ways will allow you to access content outside of the modules. Um, if there's any issues with the Canvas page, please just let me know either via a discussion post 
or uh, a quick email and I'll get to those as quickly as possible. If you have any course questions, I think the discussion post is a great place to start. I also, I also have my TAs watch the discussion post. Your fellow students can respond to you. Uh, and so putting in a discussion question, either in general questions or specific to a chapter, I get an email for every single one of those. Okay, so an email to me is going to be just as quick as a discussion forum post to any of these discussion forums. Hopefully that gives you a quick tour of our overall Canvas page and let me know if you have any questions.